So Mardi just missed, uh, blew it red there. Another sort of 9, 10 yarder, which you know he'd normally be 80% on. And um, Hammy's got a chance here to clear uh, probably 80% ball on the left to wire black and get over to one back. Hoop seven. Nah, he's taking it in the middle. Okay, maintain control with the red. It's not bad. But you'd expect Mardi to be able to hit back here. Hammy's looking at the line, so he obviously thinks it's close. Black being able to hit yellow. And you just expect Mardi to hit these, you know, 70%. Ah, oh, red. Maybe red was on the way. Anyway, going to be three all now. Hoops in uh, fresh holes for the final. Really good job from uh, Brian Battelle and his team. Okay, game one, three all. Can't argue with that, just bangs it off the boundary in front of one back. That looks a bit hard. Who's looking the strongest? Uh, it's pretty even, I think. Good shot there with Black. And we may feel compelled to shoot at that with the yellow. I'd certainly shoot at this. Second prize there. That might be second prize. Oh well, Marley's just taking red, so he's obviously got an open hoop with black. It's a poor shot. Would have expected to get that a lot um, further down or close to the wire, and he's completely open on this black. And you certainly expect Hammy to hit this. He's been a bit risky so far. They've both been poor. But early nerves, it's a best of five. I think I just played deep here. Uh, Hammy's going to play in far side of the hoop, or our near side, and uh, hopefully try and give him room to uh, put a block in. Mardi's going to hit that one. Looking at playing into the wild position. That's what I'd be trying to do. Red's forced to take the hoop on. 
Okay. If you get that. Otherwise red will probably just clear blue, leaving black to clear yellow. And these positional shots so critical in big matches. So it hasn't got it. Hammy will now clear blue. Again, you're always trying to clear it so your ball goes to the short boundary side. So Marty wants to clear yellow. And when you're shooting into the lawn, you generally shoot mid-pace. Don't shoot hard. A little bit too hard that. It's completely lost the black. Black's gone off the east boundary. Gives uh, Hammy a big advantage now. Just want to hit that sort of half the pace that Marty hit it. See you staying seven or eight yards away from the hoop. So Marty will now clear yellow and blue off the boundary. Um, so I've just said when you're shooting into the lawn, you shoot gently. When you're shooting off the lawn, you hit it hard. So. He's risking that. It's, I don't think blue's off the lawn there. I think that's really bad. If yellow can just clear blue now, all red's got to do is take position. Um, blue has to go off the lawn on those shots. That's why you shoot hard. So, nice positional shot. Oh, that's very average. I mean, it's good enough to be in fairly easy hoop running position. Um, and probably where he aimed for. I just wanted to do a little bit closer. Try and make sure I'm running seven to within six yards of eight. So, Marty's going to be shooting at this. This blue isn't off the wind. Great shot. Great shot. So, yellow's got the option of clearing blue, sort of staying where it is. Um, but normally in these positions, this is regarded as sort of a free go at the hoop. So I think Hammy will just take his free go here. No, he's positioning. Again, Mardi would normally try to play east of yellow, so red can't hit it, but he's clearing. Again, hit it on the right hand side so he maintains control of the short boundary. Mm. And we taking deeper position here. Possibly wired from blue. No, he's just taking deep position. So blue can't really clear that anywhere exciting. Uh, I think you'll find uh, black feels compelled to clear red. No, he's taking the hoop on. If this was Hammy, I think you'd see a control clearance of red in the middle. But Mardi's aggressive. And he's going to take on this hoop. He's about two yards out of the corner.